Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Amers. Forgive this, I know I look a little bit like Keith Lemon today. Um, I injured my arm uh, playing a little bit of football in the last couple of weeks of school and it's just, it started playing up again so I think I've done a little bit of damage here to my wrist. Anyways, this is sort of a little bit of a transfer update. Um, you know, there's been some news from um, X West Ham employee and on Twitter and stuff like that. Um, it's rumoured that two signings could be close, could be, keyword could. I won't say they are, I use could. Um, looking at the evidence, in terms of players that keep coming up at the moment, um, I think you have to point possibly your finger at one of them being Matthias Pereira, um, a player that I want, a player that excites me, fantastic player, very skillful, um, you know, won the shining lights of West Brom last year in what was really quite a poor season for them. Um, incredibly skillful Brazilian. Um, I think he ended up with something like 11 goals and 4 assists. Sorry if I'm wrong with those stats, guys. I'm literally doing this video off the cuff. Um, yeah, player we need. Um, probably will end the Lingard stuff, um, if it is the case. If uh, Pereira is one of the names uh, to come in. But yeah, someone we need. Someone who's exciting. Um, and yeah, I'll be absolutely buzzing if we can pull this one off. I think he... He's a player that we will fall in love with as fans. Um, I know it was only against Celtic, but you know we've seen those little glimpses of Ben Rama looks a little bit more confident. Bowen looks really sharp. Fornells looks like he's even could step up another level again. Listen, if Fornells can add goals into his game, uh, we're going to have one head of a player in there. We really, really are. Um, in terms of the second player, I think it's one of three names. One of three names. Um, it's either going to be Sam Johnston, um, the West Brom goalie, um, in a double deal from them, because um, we've been heavily linked with him. Um, it's either got um, Alfonso Ariola, obviously a player that's you know continuously um, the rumours have been going on for a couple of weeks, the goalkeeper from PSG, or um, if I had to stick my head out and pick out another name, I would say Nate Phillips from Liverpool um, for. A, I believe around the 10 million mark. Um, Sam Johnston, good goalie. Be happy with him. Uh, happy with either, to be honest, him or Ariola. Uh, both really, really top quality goalies. Um, and, you know, we, we need... We, we People people keep um, commenting on the fact that, that they don't think goalie is a priority. In, in some respects, I agree. Um, you know, Fabianski is still a top goalie, but... It will become a priority next year, um, and I think it's better to go and get that goalie now if you can, or even you know if it's a loan deal for Alfonso Ariola or whatever it is for Johnson. Um, they have a year to blood themselves into West Ham to, you know, become the number one later this year or the start of next season. Because um, Fabianski is getting on. Uh, we've seen that Randolph he's okay, but he can't be a consistent number one. Um, just the, the mistake against Celtic, for example, you know, is a classic example of just shows he's not quite at that top, top level, Randolph. So either of those I'll be buzzing for. Um, in terms of Nate Phillips, if it is Nate Phillips, every time he's played against us, he's been fantastic. You know, one of the rare defenders that actually dealt with Antonio this season. Um, he's younger than Dawson. Um, he's strong, he's tall. I wouldn't say he's very fast, which you know is not very good for a centre back. But we do need another centre back in there. Balbuena has gone, obviously. Um, Oggy, God knows what happened to him in the Celtic game. You know, um, I don't think any news has come out of that. So we we need a centre back. We 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 need one. You know, um, you know, a couple of these young boys look really really good. But I wouldn't want to throw him in the deep end straight away. You know, we need to. You know, we want to get get off to a good start and get you know get a little bit of confidence. So, Diop, I think Diop might hopefully you know get a chance to show the form that he showed a couple of years ago, um, which we want. You know, N nothing more would it would make me happy to see you know a player that you feel that's not got a great future left at West Ham improve it. You know, we've seen it over the years. Like a few years ago, Ogbonna was one of the ones that we used to dig out. You know. Um, and look what he's gone on to be. You know, he's one of the best centre-backs in the Premier League, you know, outside the top six. Um, so, yeah, 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too disappointed with Nate Phillips. You know, it, it would be a strong centre, strong centre back, sort of in the mould of like a James Tompkins um, and a younger Craig Dawson. Not setting the world alight. You know, it's not, it's not a Coletta car, for example, or um, you know, someone a little bit more prestigious, but someone who knows the Premier League, someone who's played in the top team. I, I wouldn't be too against it, especially if it is around that 10 million price tag. Um, other rumours that are out there is obviously Oxalade Chamberlain as well. Um, he's a classic, you know, like, how many times do I use this line on this channel? Brilliant when fit. Absolutely fantastic footballer. When, when fit, is a fantastic player, you know, as good as Jesse Lingard. Um, bossy. Uh, can play centre midfield, can play attacking midfield, can probably do a job on the wings as well. Uh, goal scorer, a bully in the tackle. But oh, he's just not fit. It's just not fit enough. I like him. I like him as a player. I really, really do. And listen, if you're getting a fit ox and you could get 25 games out of him a season, maybe I would take that gamble. But I reckon you wouldn't get more than 15 out of him. Last thing we want is another Kieran Dyer and another Jack Wilshere situation and, God forbid, another Andy Carroll situation. Um, yeah, fantastic player, but not, not what we need. You know, we need someone who's going to be able to play. Um, I, look, I said 25 games. If you add in there Europe, you need someone who's going to be able to play 30 games if you put the Europa League in it. You need someone who's going to be fit for 30 games, whether that's 30 places off the bench or 30 places starting. They've got to be ready for 30 games. Um... Other players linked heavily, Danny Ings, um, apparently had his, he's got his heart set on a move to Man City or Manchester United, if you believe what you read on Twitter, which God knows how, how much of that is true, I don't know. I like Ings, um, I did say on the podcast, I think if he comes to us, it might potentially be a bit of a sulky move, he might, it might be a bit disappointed at coming to West Ham uh, after having such high hopes for maybe Manchester United or Manchester City. Um, I do like him though. He's a natural goal scorer. He'll definitely offer some, you know, backup and starting with uh, Antonio. Keep Antonio on his toes. Um, let's all be honest. Antonio's not going to get through 38 games. He's not. It, it's it's just the way he plays now, and you know the the burst of energy and the you know the temperamental side of his hamstrings. You know, we, we we need another person there. We need someone to take that burden off him. You know, even if Antonio, you know, can play 60 minutes of a game um, and then we take him off and wrap him up because, you know, he's done enough. And then you've got Ings there or Ings starts and he can use Antonio as a sub for 35 minutes, you know, as a impact sub just to take the burden off both of them because both of them haven't got the best of injury records. Um I was trying to think of some of the other names linked. Obviously, Tammy Abraham's constantly linked in there. Ross Barkley keeps coming up. Mm, good player, but I think he's another one where it's like, is it still that thing of, oh, we we think he's young when really he's like 27. Um, I've always liked him as a player, but he, he didn't, apart from the first few games for Villa, he didn't, he didn't really set that alight either, did he, at Villa? Um but yeah, hopefully, hopefully, guys, something happens now within the next couple of weeks. Um, there, there is some really good, exciting names in there. Hopefully, Dave has finally sort of set his mind now and got okay. These are the five or whatever we've got, however many players we're going to end up with. But hopefully, we've got two before the Newcastle game, which just gives us a couple of options there. You know, just a couple of different ideas to try out in that game. Um, yeah. If it does happen, obviously, it takes away this dreary feeling that some of us are feeling now, you know, this this waiting and just wanting some players in just to beef the squad up. Uh, that's all it, we need. We just need some bodies in there just in case I don't want an injury crisis, you know. Um, oh, the only other thing, guys, I did want to mention, I did want to give my views on the Sue Fowl thing. Um, obviously, uh, we sort of knew about it about two weeks ago, it started to leak. And then um, Sky Sports obviously got a hold of it as well. Um, apparently he's not very happy about the contract um, offer that's been put on the table. Listen, there's three players in that team um, that are insurmountable. Um, and that is Declan Rice, Thomas Socek and Vladimir Sofal. Um, you, you possibly could put Antonio in there as well. Um, listen, when you've just got rid of Anderson, 
who was on ridiculous money. Um, I think Balbuena was on quite good money as well. You've still got Yarmolenko on the books that's on, I believe, around £125,000 a week. How you could not offer someone like Soufal fifty to £60,000 plus, um, and then Socek, you know, in the echelons of, I would say, for him, seventy-five to eighty grand plus, and then Declan Rice, anything from a hundred grand plus, purely on how good a player we've got there. Um, it's something that needs sorting. Um, you know, we don't want these guys getting upset. I think they're professional enough to, you know, they'll go out on the pitch and still give a hundred percent. It's just the sort of characters they are. But it's time to reward these players. For years, we've rewarded players that have, you know, been mercenaries to the club, um, turned up not delivered on the pitch, uh, strolled around. Um, and I'm talking even, you know, Dimitri Payet was a magnificent footballer. But it seemed that every time he had a sulk, we'd bump his wages up to keep him there. We did it with Marco as well, Marco Arnautovic. Do it to players that actually have shown a bit of loyalty and, and believe in the dream a little bit. And that is Socek, Sufal and Rice. Um, anyway, guys, let me know your opinion on the uh, news and what two players you think it is that are going to be close to signing. Until next time, hit that subscribe button if you're ready. Thanks for all the likes. Thanks for all the comments. Come on, your hands. Keep believing. Let's go.